Divas, it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. This is what we're gonna do today. So I got me some new makeup brushes right here. And these are available on Amazon, Lily Beauty on Amazon. I will post the information below, but they do have an AliExpress store, but also they do sell on Amazon too. So if the name sounds familiar, then you guys know where that came from. So this set comes with some facial brushes along with some eyeshadow brushes. I have like some new products that I want to try out. So I decided to do that with you guys. One of them are um, the Morphe Daisy Danger Glow Palette or Highlight Palette, which I absolutely love. The colors in this are so rich and just vibrant. Um, also, I'm going to be using my new Pure Cameo Contour Stick. So this is in the color dark. So there's a highlight and a contour in one. The Airspun Setting Powder. But the only thing that I don't really like about this is the scent. So it kind of reminds me of like an old lady perfume scent. And the coverage is really great. It doesn't have me looking all chalky and ashy but I don't really care for the scent. $5.96 at Walmart, you cannot go wrong. The Pure, the actual Pure, did come with a beauty blender sponge. I'm also going to be using a new Real Techniques beauty blender. This is like a diamond shape. This is from their Bold Metals collection. This is gonna be the first time for me using this. This is supposed to get really, really precise in the, kind of like the corners or just underneath in small areas. So we shall see how this works, but I love Real techniques. So I already went ahead and cleansed and moisturized my face and of course I already put my eyebrows on so the first things first I'm going to do my eyes and I'm just going to use this just to kind of like even my eyes out use my Iman and it's just a press, uh, press facial powder. This is now okay. So the brushes are soft. These brushes are really soft. This one is very dense, which is good. So it does pick up a lot of product. So I just take it and kind of like mattify the yellow and set it really really undecided of what wet and wild palette I'm going to use for this video I don't know because I'm so confused they're all so pretty so I think I'm going to use smoke and Melrose which is so pretty I love these colors I'm going to use this color right here now this um comes out a little bit better but I'm going to try one of my favorite brushes, um, which is my MAC 217. So this is like a really pretty color, like a gorgeous color. So let's try this brush right here. I'm going to go into this. Um, palette or little quad. I'm going to use this brush to kind of like blend it in. I'm going to go back to that same first Wet n Wild, which was the Smoke and Merrills. And this is pretty color. It looks kind of like a Plumish wine color, that's the only way I can describe it. And see how dark it gets once you just add a little bit more. I like to just start off really, really light. like sometimes for it to be a little bit browner up here. I don't know, that's just a pet peeve of mine. So I'm gonna use this ColourPop, and this color is called Flutes. I love this color, so freaking pretty. 
kind of gives like a really nice gradient, kind of like, you know, transition color. This color is like beautiful. I'm just going to take this brush right here. Because and I know you guys are like, why didn't I just put the pencil on my lips? That's because I forgot my sharpener. But I kind of like that peachy one. So I think it's going to be the one that they said to put in their crease, your crease. And I'm gonna use just this one here. It's a little bit darker. I just want it a little bit darker in the crease line. for one of my favorite new liquid eyeliners, Stay Put Matte by Milani. This stuff is bomb. My favorite mascara, which is by Too Faced, and it's called Size Queen. Oh my God, do you see the size of this brush? Love it. This is like the best brush mascara in the world. You know, I wear individuals, so they last like weeks and weeks. My primer is gonna be Too Faced 2, primed and poreless. So what kind of primer, facial primer, do you guys use? I wanna know. I wanted to try the Becca, um, facial primer because it's supposed to be really good for oily skin like myself so the first thing i want to use in my face because i'm just trying to use up what i have so i'm going to use my black opal foundation stick in the color kalahari sand it's not one of my favorites because of the way it makes my skin look but and it's kind of like a little bit too light so i'll mix it with something let's see here we're going to use this blender here now because it makes me look so pale, I'll go over it with another inexpensive brand. The Absolute New York brand, really inexpensive foundation. This color is a little bit darker, so it kind of like warms my skin tone up. So like this isn't like the best foundation in the world but like I said you have to kind of like mix and mingle them for them to work out so now it's on to the highlighting under my eyes so I want to use this here by pure and this color is kind of dark for me it's like my own actual, you know what? This is weird. But this light is not for my complexion. This is more or less my color of my skin. So instead of it being a highlight, I should have just used this for my foundations. So with that, I'm gonna try their beauty blender with it. I'm just gonna take this flat side and kind of like blend it out. So it gave me a nice coverage basically. And, and it kind of like goes so well with my skin tone a lot better than the absolute New York. For my highlight, I'm going to use two different things. And while that's drying, I'm going to go in with this one here, which is the Hard Candy Invisible Camouflage Foundation. This is in the color medium tan. Okay, 
highlight coming through with this beauty blender here. I oh yes, I do like this. All right. Now, will it replace my other one by Real Techniques? Well, I don't know. I think I would use them both at the same time. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and take the hard candy. Go back into the pure contra stick. I'm really not too crazy about this um, contour color, so I came prepared with my hula bronzer. So now to set my eye makeup, I'm going to go in with this air spun on my under eye. But I do like this powder because it really does wipe off really good. So yes, air spun. Girls, get this if you have not. Now let's go do the eyes, the under eyes. We're gonna go back into one of these palettes. I think I'm gonna use like a really dark color. I'm going to use my um, ColourPop, because this is the best. This color here is like a purplish plum. This one. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Your pressed powder in the color tan. I'm going to go in with the Morphe Daisy Danger palette. I'm going to first use this color right here. I don't really know about these brushes for this. So I'm going to just take my Wet n Wild brush, which is like the best one. The next one I'm going to go into is this color right here. So pretty. And then I'm going to do a little more contouring because everything happened. I'm going to make myself a little bronzer with the same palette. This one at the bottom. Isn't that like a beautiful color? It's like a rosy, kind of like golden bronzy. 
So for my lips, first I'm going to use this color here. I know you guys are gonna be like, damn, that's bright. So this is my lipstick line, and this is extremely matte, which is in collaboration with makeup, um, Guru Makeup, Guru Glam Makeup, and this color is called No Filter. And on top of that, I'm going to put the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. This gives it this totally different color, which I like. It's kind of like a kind of like you can see the tangerine like peeking through, sort of. And now I'm going to set my face with the Hard Candy um, Fat Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. And this one really works, like, I really do like this one. And then once that dries, I'll go back in with some more of my actual highlights because I really wanna blind you guys. <sighs> because you can never like highlight too much, especially if you want to blind people out in public then you have to kind of like highlight to the guys. Ooh, this color is like amazing. Oh, the color at the bottom, bomb ass, okay? So yes, yes. look at this color. Oh my God, this color is so pretty at the bottom. I love it. Ooh, whoosh. Now, now it's time to do my hair. Okay guys, so this is the finished look for this makeup. And as you guys can see, I did go ahead and I changed my background because this is just more fuller. Um, I just did a review for this, which is Labby Hair's Kinky Straight. And I did box dye it, um, so you will be able to see that video. If I don't forget, I'll link it below. And if I do, you can just look at my channel for Labby Hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I think it's really, really a pretty neutral kind of glammed look. And I'll post all the information for you guys below. And I will see you girls and guys soon. Stay diva and divalicious. And make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And and I'll see you guys soon.